Dangoti Cement, the largest company listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange, formally commissioned a $1 billion production plant in Ibesa, southwest Nigeria. Wale Famarewa caught up with Aliko Dangoti, president of the Dangoti Group, and asked the importance of the project to the company and his thoughts on the broader cement industry in Nigeria. By 2003, our total production was actually 1.8 million tons. And uh, what the government did was actually to bring out a very robust policy by saying that you cannot import cement unless you produce it locally. You know, like what you call a backward integration. After the backward integration, the policy was released. We took that advantage. And, you know, in this short period of time from 2004, when we actually started planning, building, and, uh, you know, building all these capacities, it has also helped us to go outside Nigeria. In Nigeria alone, we have total capacity of 28 million tons as at now. The 28 million tons as at now capacity that we have built, 20.5.25 uh, million tons is owned by Dangote Cement PLC. But it has also helped us the same policy to go outside Africa with now a target that by 2014 we are going to produce about 60 million metric tons, which will actually put us at about number, uh, between number six to number eight in the world in terms of a uh, you know, cement company in less than uh, 10 years. So talk to us about this project and the importance for the Dangote Group today. This project is very, very important to uh, Dangote Cement because it's one of the key projects that will actually stop the importation of uh, cement. Uh, you know, we have been importing cement up to just last month and now this factory, because it, is ha I mean, it has a massive capacity of about 18 to 20,000 metric tons per day, which is not what we are importing, it's much, much higher than what we are importing. So this, this factory has actually stopped the importation of uh, cement. Uh, we have actually spent, if you calculate interest, cumulative interest and all this, we spent almost close, close to a billion dollars. But we are not stopping there, you know, in case, you know, demand is very elastic, it can grow and we want to export to other West African countries. So we are doubling this plant. If you come in the next six weeks, you see us starting the same replication of this factory in the next six weeks. Uh, there's a lot of uh, gap in terms of demand. We need to fill those gaps and then we'll start exporting. You know, when you start, it's not like a car where you just kick it and you go to 200 kilometers. No, this one you have to ramp up. And I think in the next two months, we'll be able to start taking cement to Ghana. That's our first destination. We know the issue of gas supply is a critical element for cement producers in Nigeria. We've heard of some disruptions recently. What's the situation on the ground? Yeah, the reality of the ground is that yes, sometimes we have a bit of challenges in terms of gas, but it's not really every day that we have challenges of gas. The challenge of gas is there. And that is why we spend quite a lot of money in terms of making sure that we have uh, low foil oil, which you can use. We have diesel, which you can use. We have coal, which you can use, apart from gas. We have actually four sources of running the factory. So if we don't have this, we switch to, uh, you know, another one. So really and truly, uh, when you look at all our factories, we are not connected even to uh, power holding company. We are not connected to any national grid. Lazy people, they should stop saying things about that they cannot produce because there's no power in the country. You can generate your own power, you can produce, and then when there is, uh, like for us, as Dangote, even if power holding company have excess power, we will not use them because we are producing our power cheaper than them. And they will not be able to match our price in terms of power generation cost. Another important element for cement producers is transportation of the produced cement. And we know Nigeria has weaknesses with regards to its rail lines. Most things have to move by road. How do you see things changing in Nigeria today with all the plans that the government has put on the ground? Well, things will change. By the time that actually uh, railways are built, it will help us in terms of reducing the pressure on our roads. Because, you know, for example, as Dumgote, we added actually 5,000 trucks to our fleet. Nothing but only to distribute cement. Because if you look at it today, uh, to distribute cement is a major challenge. Because we are talking about 28 million tons across the country. Even though, okay, fine, it's not produced in one location, but doesn't matter, it will travel three, four, five hundred kilometers. In some instances, maybe up to even a thousand uh, kilometers. But we are not waiting for the government to fix the railway. We know that, yes, they are doing quite a lot. They will fix the r railway. By the time they fix the railway, then we will downsize our trucking.